let me now introduce you to the concept of relational, uh, relationship mapping. Uh, at a very basic level, the idea of relationship mapping is to find a, uh, engage in a process with all the adults in the building that allow you to, in a more systemic and structured way, ensure that every single student has that meaningful relationship with at least one adult. That's kind of the basic way, basic concept. And just to put, give you a visual for it, uh, in a pre-pandemic world, the way we would do it is we would bring all the educators, all the adults, I should say, be, you know, because uh, it could be uh, people who are not necessarily considered, are considered educators, but our, our staff that are in the building, bring them all together into a room um, and then take the name of every single student in a grade or, or, a, uh, or in the school. And we'll talk more about those distinctions in just a second. But you would take every single, uh, we would write the name of every single student and put, it, and put them on the wall. Um, and then have every adult walk around the room and with a pen, uh, put the initials, uh, their initials on the stickies of the students that they feel they have a meaningful relationship with. And at the end, what you have is a visual representation of who are the students who are very well supported by other adults who have those strong relationships already uh, with adults, uh, who are the ones who might have only one or a couple of, of those relationships. And most importantly, who are the students who are not being supported by anyone? And that allows you to really start thinking about how do we make sure we engage all students. Um, so that basically, and I'll talk, talk more about how we can do that in the current context, um, but that's the basic idea of uh, engaging a systemic and structured approach to identify the students who, uh, who are supported and those who need to be supported. Um, and then once you have the, the, the basic mapping already uh, completed, it also allows you to reflect at a broader pick, at a broader level about what exactly is happening in your school. Who are the students who are who have the relationships and who are not? Uh, there are certain uh, patterns, are there certain barriers that you might identify? Certain, you know, who are the students who are not well supported? And then figure out how to um, what are strategies to uh, break through those barriers. Uh, third, it's a great process to engage all adults in the building. Uh, and that's so important, that's such an important piece of the process is to really engage all the adults uh, to bring them together, uh, whether it's in person or virtually, um, and really engage them in a conversation about, first of all, why is this so important? Why is this mapping so important? And the reason behind it, the reason why it's so important to have those meaningful relationships, um, and then to have them all engage in a conversation about how do we make sure that happens. And then lastly, the benefit of this is it allows you to develop a specific action plan with very specific action steps for how you're gonna ensure that in your school or in your district, if you're thinking about it at the district level, uh, you have that culture and you have that, those processes to en enable, to ensure that every student has that uh, meaningful relationship. Next slide. <clears throat> 